Welcome to the final episode of Let's Name a Bunch of Bones. Today we're going to be talking about the bones of the lower limb and foot. Let's see if I can grab a little pointer here. There we go. All right. So we're looking at the lower leg or the lower limb here. Uh, the first part we'll start with is the thigh. The bone of the thigh is the femur. It is the largest, longest, and strongest bone. And this is one of this is uh, the bone that if you break that, that is just absolutely excruciating. You really don't want to break this bone. Uh, it's broken down into a handful of different parts, just like all of these bones. So right here, you see the head of the femur. That's what actually fits into the acetabulum or the acetabulum of the pelvis. Um, you have here the fovea capitis, or fovea capitis. Um, it's a little notch, a little pit in the head that has a ligament that connects this the, the femur head into the acetabulum. Um, then here you have the neck of the femur. It's pretty pretty clear cut where that is. Um, you have a couple other parts here. That are, this right here is the greater trochanter. Okay. And this is the lesser trochanter. You can see it on this side is the lesser trochanter. This part is the greater trochanter. Okay. It's this little notch right here. And they're, both of those serve as attachment sites for, for muscles and ligaments. Then if you look posteriorly, you'll see this linea aspera or linea aspera. All right. And that's just another uh, attachment site for muscles. As you go inferior the femur you see you have the medial condyle and the lateral condyle remember condyle means knuckle that kind of those kind of look like knuckles right so those articulate with the tibia which we'll talk about in just a moment um, on either side of those condyles you have the medial epicondyle and the lateral epicondyle medial epicondyle and the lateral epicondyle right here then if you look um, anterior, you'll see that there is the patellar surface, and that's what actually articulates with the patella, which is known as the kneecap. Let me see if I can get that to go away. There we go. The patella is the kneecap, uh, which you can see here. You don't need to know any of these. It'll be helpful to know that this is the apex, because the apex uh, kind of points inferior. Um, this bone got a significant call out in the seminal Disney animated motion picture Hercules when um, Phil, voiced by Danny DeVito, exclaims in a moment of frustration that Hercules is being a pain in the patella. Very, very cool shout out right there. All right. So in the bones of the leg, you have the tibia and the fibula. Uh, these are frequently referred to, you'll probably hear me refer to them this way, uh, especially if you're talking about a fracture. Generally, fracture both of these, or it's common to fracture both of these. Uh, if you fracture one, and they call that a, a tib fib fracture, um, and it just it it makes sense to call them that. So you'll probably hear me refer to uh, this articulation here as the tib fib. Uh, so the tibia is this big guy right here. That is what we just what we know as the shin bone. That's the tibia. This bears most of the weight that's transferred down from the femur. Uh, it's got a few different parts here. It has the lateral condyle, right? and that fits in with the um, lateral condyle of the femur, and then the medial condyle, and same thing. All right, you can see that on here. Then you have the tibial tuberosity, this protrusion right here, and that is the attachment site for the patellar ligament, the ligament that holds the patella, the kneecap, in place up here. It attaches right here on the tibial tuberosity. As you go down, there's some there's some pretty neat stuff. You've got the intraosseous membrane, which we've talked about for the uh, forearm, right? And it exists here too. And then you'll come down here and you'll see that there is the medial malleolus. And that's, if you actually look at your ankle, you can see that little protrusion. And that is the medial malleolus uh, poking out there. If you look at the other bone here, you have the fibula, which uh, the scientific definition of that is the other one. You have the head up here, right? And that articulates here onto the tibia. And as you come down, pretty much the other interesting thing about it is that it has the lateral malleolus, which is another thing that you can actually look at your, your ankle and see that protrusion as well on the lateral side of your foot, right? 
right here, this is all what it articulates with the um, the ankle and the foot bones, right? Then we have some bones of the foot. Uh, this very looks very similar to the hand. Make sure that you're paying attention uh, or you might get things mixed up if you're not really cued in here. So there are seven tarsal bones, right? So just like we had carpals, these are tarsals, um, which as we all know, foot starts with T, so this makes perfect sense. Um, there's seven bones. You have the talus. This is what actually attach or articulates with the uh, tibia and the fibula, the tib fib. Then you have the calcaneus, which is the heel bone. And that, uh, that's where your, um, your calf muscle attaches down onto. It goes all the way down here to the calcaneus. Then you have the navicular bone right here. And then you have the medial cuneiform, the intermediate cuneiform, the lateral cuneiform, cuneiform, sorry about that, and the cuboid bone, right? Cuneiform, some of you that have taken a, a, like world history will might recognize that word from uh, the ancient writing, uh, I think it was, was it Sumer maybe, where they used wedges uh, to communicate numbers. That's what cuneiform is referring to here. These are kind of like wedges, right? Then you have the metatarsals. Just like in the hand, you have the metacarpals. These are the metatarsals. They're numbered one through five in the, uh, with the Roman num uh, numeral system. One, I, 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 V, and V. And then you have the phalanges, which those are actually the same as the hand. Uh, in especially because if you look at the, uh, medial phalanges you only have the two you have the proximal and the distal but the others all have three the proximal middle and distal phalanges okay um it's important to note that sometimes you'll see the big toe uh, the formal name of that is the hallux um it, you'll also see it called the great toe uh for the the tarsals the mnemonic device that sticks with me is tiger cubs need milk but milk is misspelled. You can see it down here as soon as that goes away. Go away. There we go. Tiger cub needs milk. Uh, so that's the talus is T. Calcaneus is cub. You come reset back over here. Needs. <coughs> um, then medial, intermediate, lateral cuneiform, and the cuboid bone. Right? 